it's like it's like indoor dumping. Yeah, if right? if you get if it's you like, get the dump, then oh my gosh, you're the best ever. If you don't get the dump, you're an idiot for <laughs> dumping. What are you doing? Like use your attackers. No, it's the exact same. You get criticized for going over on two. Oh uh, yeah, right? I, I think I have in the past. And that's what Kelly Chang has to do. She has to hit on that option. She's so good at doing it, sometimes criticized for doing it too much, but she has to come in and rip it right now because she's poked a, a little too many around. Oh, I use it too much or it's not, it's not like sustainable. This isn't how the game is played. I've heard all of those things many times. Well, I would like to show you something that I put together. Oh no. This is the 2003 Fort Lauderdale AVP Finals between Elaine Young's Holly McPeak versus Carrie and Misty. Holly went away from putting the ball up on two for Elaine towards the middle of that game and the end. And I think they need to do more of that if they want to succeed. There it is right there, back on Holly. And going on two, nice shot. Short pokey. Dude. That's the first time. First time we've seen that from Elaine. She pretended like she was going to set the ball, and she just dropped it over behind her, and nobody was there. Nobody expected it. A good time to do something a little bit different. Go up, act like you're going to set, and then just tip it over. Hey, and that's Chris Marlowe and Sinjin Smith. Oh. But even... Well, Everybody. For, even then, but back yeah. then, there's, you yeah. know, oh, you know, good thing they didn't hear the bottom net, or else you're out. And, I don't know why they weren't doing that more often. Yeah. On two, Young teeing off. That has been such a sweet play. It's worked so many times, and I'm just not sure why Elaine didn't take advantage over the last five or six plays. She had opportunities where she didn't take advantage. And this is one of the best teams in the world. Yeah. You know, so when it works, it works. When yep. it doesn't, yep. I'll tell you what, she dumps that into the net. She's got to go to the detention. She's got to go to the penitentiary. She's had a history of dumping some of those right in the bottom of the net. I mean, it's more utilized now, but it's been a very underutilized part of the game. I don't think Missy and Carrie did it. No, no, I don't think so. It's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, yeah. I'm super curious if they were in their prime playing right now, if they would adjust their game. I think they'd have to. You think? A hundred percent. I think the game has gotten too fast. I think they would have to adapt. Young's on two, chopping. Oh, yes, oh, big play there. Flame got a second chance. Where did the over on two kind of come from? Like, where did you? I feel like it goes back to high school. Like, I was a high school setter, and I learned how to hit lefty. Oh, you did? In college, or in high school. That's impressive. So my dad and I would go out uh, with a football for hours and just throw lefty, throw lefty until I figured it out. That's what I did. That's, I, that's exactly what you I, I did. Like that. Yeah. Well, you you broke your hand. I broke my. It's a long story. So I couldn't hit with my right hand, but I could pass and I could set. And I spent the next year as a setter. But on the side, I did what every other kid would do if they lose their ability to play with their dominant hand. They experiment and fool around with playing with their less dominant, less coordinated. In my case, my left hand. So 2017, you and Sarah were playing together, right? Mm -hmm. Were you guys doing over on twos then? Um, yeah, a little bit. Not not that much. Not that much. No, not that much. Not that much. And then 2018. Me, I started playing with Brittany Hochevar. Okay. She loved it. Yeah. So we we used it a lot. Uh, didn't always go where you know I wanted it to go. I think she saw the value in it. She she always encouraged me to you know be aggressive, and she loved my creativity, and it was super fun. Oh, a little reverse pokey on two. Now, do you guys take stats on this? Oh, so, yeah. Jordan so stats, everything. So that you can make objective decisions? 100%, yeah. I think one of the coolest things, Jordan stats, is we, this was when we were playing with Sponsel, we started diving into, so he grades uh, the pass, one through four. Oh, fours are the best. Mm -hmm. Fours are a perfect path. Threes are a pretty good pass. Twos, like, okay. Ones, like a shank. Zeros and ace. Gotcha. He statted my option efficiency based on the pass. Um, I mean, if it's a, if it's a two pass, you shouldn't be going over that too, right? <laughs> oh, but I'm greedy. <laughs> <laughs> There's been many games where I've overused it, and I very much feel the need, or I have in the past, felt the need to force it when we're losing. Got gotcha. you. There's another great dig by Kalinsky. Kalinsky digs the option. And um, so that's been like, you know, a whole journey for me. 
figuring out, okay, can I still be aggressive in these moments? but not force it. And there's a, a system and an intention behind it, not just, oh, willy-nilly, like I'm just gonna option what I feel like it. 